I'm James View. And I'm Bob View. And together we're B and B Forge. Alright, welcome back. Uh if you're tired of watching me make hammers, uh, you might want to go look at one of my other videos. Because <laughs> um, here we go again. Uh, I am down to less than two weeks. Uh, I am leaving a week from this coming Friday. So it's, uh, it's getting crunch time. So I got hammers to make. I got two more to get knocked out. That's my goal before I leave. Plus, I've got a bunch of other stuff that I want to get made before I go. So, uh, we are going to continue with the hammers because they tend to take a while. And today, we are going to do a diagonal pin. So, stick around. Let's see if we get this bad boy done. <laughs> Now that I got it squared up, I'm gonna go for the punch on the eye now. So that's what's gonna happen next. I'm not expecting anything too spectacular since thus far everything's been going okay on punching eyes so far. So stick around.
right, so, well, I forgot to hit record apparently, um, and I blew the eye open, so we now have a hole where the eye is supposed to be. So, we're right where I want to be, but I just didn't get it on film, <laughs> and I'm sorry. I would say I'm not perfect, but if y'all ain't figured that one out by now, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so, we'll keep going on it. Alright, so, as I said, this is going to be a diagonal ping. Now, this is a normal straight ping handle. Cross ping, sorry. Brain's not working. Here. What I'm going to do is I want to turn this. I am a right-handed. So, for it to work right for me, it needs to come from the top left to the bottom right towards my hand so as I strike it's in the path of my hand in order to stretch long ways that's the goal so I guess this is one of the few hammers that depending on what hand you are depends on which direction it's got to go I mean I guess you could do it the other way it would just I don't know it seemed weird to me but that's how I'm gonna do it so I'm gonna go top left to bottom right and I'm doing all this before I drift that eye because I want to try to get as much of this done as possible before I start doing the drift. So we'll see how this works.
kind of see my stamp on there it's got a number one on it first diagonal ping I have tried um, it's pretty thick across the ping but out of using the ones that I have I like that thicker I think it moves better um, weight two pounds um, I think for the guy who suggested this, who is more than likely going to be the one who goes home from Quad State with this, being that it's a bit of a specialty, um, I think he'll be happy with it. So I know he'll watch and I know he'll see it. So I've actually already sent him pictures to see it and he thought it was pretty cool. So I'm happy. So, that's three. One more to go. The last big billet I got is gonna go into a standard. Ah! Cross beam design. This is my next hammer I will be working on, so. That one's gonna be coming out. I apologize for all the hammer videos, but not really, because I'm having fun doing them, but I am down to six days before we leave, so I gotta get it done. So, from b, &B Forge, oh, wait a minute. Like, comment, subscribe, share, thumbs up. You know the rigmarole, but from b, &B Forge, I'll catch y'all on the next one.